guys, we're back again to you with another Youth Odyssey video. Today we're going to be talking about the basic uh, assembly on how to make a fire. Now this is going to be different for everybody depending on where you are and the materials that you have accessible to you. Uh, but today we kind of have some stuff already picked out just for the sake of making this video uh, as best as informative as possible. Okay, remember guys, when you're making a fire, you're going to need three main things. You're going to need a heat source or an ignition source and then you're gonna need your oxygen and your fuel to make sure that fire stays on for as long as you want it to go. So, a few things that we have here for you guys already is we have a, a stump here that we're gonna to use to actually build our fire and we have the different levels of uh, kindling. So, I have my tinder already in here, which is put together uh, all nice and neat. We'll give you a link to where you actually can get one of these fire starting kits. Uh, but in here, I have my ferro rod, my striker, and my, and my tinder, which is gonna help me create that initial spark which I will then transport to one of these items here. So you always want to find something that's really dry. That way it'll light as fast as possible. And then progressively you get larger and larger until you have a well-established fire and enough fuel to, to then keep that alive. So we're going to go ahead and get things set up for you guys and show you how to get this fire started. So you're going to start off by getting a little bit of tinder. This here is actually made out of twine. So you'll take your classic piece of twine, unravel that up, and you'll put that here. You always want to have your, your kindling close by because this will light very, very fast. And if you don't have it close by, then you won't be able to uh, transport that initial ember effectively. So I have my ferro rod and my striker here. It will take some scraping because they do have a coating on here. Uh, eventually you'll, you'll expose the, the part where you'll actually be able to scrape off and start the fire. But we'll see what we can get out of these few strikes here. So as you can see, that lit up extremely fast. That's exactly what you want. Again, this tinder for myself is already pre-packaged and uh, we can tell you how to get a hold of that. But in the wild, you can always take really dry pieces of bark, for example. Uh, there's certain plants that are perfect for this kind of stuff. Uh, dry leaves work really well. Or if you actually take some stuff from your house. So one, of the, one thing that works really well is you can take like lint or um, or you ever get like the, the, the lint material that you take out of a dryer, that stuff's actually very, very, very flammable and really perfect, but you only wanna use that for yourself, not when you're making a fire for a lot of people, just cause it's your clothes, so. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's basically how you're gonna get a fire starter. Hey guys, and like I mentioned in the video, if you wanna get your hands on one of these cool fire starter kits, they're provided by Keepers of the Garden, and here's the link down below. You can go visit them to get your hands on one of these. But if you have any questions, you can always visit us at any of our other social media sites. Uh, we have YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, now we also have TikTok and Twitch where you can also visit us for information there as well. See y'all next time. <laughs>